Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to integrate the ReactJS.NET class component in MVC application. So here we got this is ReactJS.NET class component, and this component is from the hello world.jsx file. I have integrated this component in index.mvc view page. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous ReactJS tutorial series. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial how to integrate the ReactJS.NET class component in MVC application. I'm using Visual Studio 2019 to create a new MVC application. For that, I'm creating a new project. After that, I'm selecting a template called ASP.NET Web Application, which is a .NET framework. Click Next. And I'm giving some project proper name, uh, React Class Component, Class Com. And I'm saving this project in the E drive, which is a ReactJS MVC folder. After that, I'm creating the project. Now the next step, I'm selecting the MVC default template application. Click create. And here the project has been created successfully. Let me close this default window. Now open Solution Explorer. Notice when I expand the Solution Explorer in our project, there are some default MVC folders and files has been created automatically. Now in these folders, notice there is a scripts folder when I expand that one. All the client side script like the JavaScript, bootstraps and everything will be stored in this scripts folder only. So now I want to implement the ReactJS. So for that I need to install the latest ReactJS packages to our MVC application. First go to tools, click Nudget package manager from that package manager console. After that, let's install, install package react.js and here the react.js is installed successfully. Let me expand the solution explorer. Now notice now in the scripts folder there is a react folder is added automatically. When I expand that folder, we got the react packages. Now we require some more react.js packages to our application. For that go to tools, not tools. This time I am selecting the application, right click the mouse, and manage nature packages. From here go to browse and search for react.js.net and from the search results I'm selecting the react.web.mvc4 click install now click ok and notice when I install this react.web.mvc4 along with this package react.core and react.web also install to our application and those packages is installed in the references folder see here react.core web and mvc4 now we require javascript engine also this is the package i'm looking for javascript engine switcher v8 let's select that one click install Click OK. Here we got the readme.txt file for the JavaScript engine. Now we require the JavaScript engine switcher V8 with the Windows version x64. Select that one. Click install. Click OK. And this is a readme.txt file for the Windows version x64. Now I require the Windows x86 also. Click install. 
click OK. Let me close this readme.txt file as well as the nugget package window also. Up to now, we have just installed the ReactJS.NET packages in our MVC application. And now, open Solution Explorer. Let me minimize this references folder, uh, references folder, React component, and scripts folder. Before implementing the ReactJS functionality to our MVC application, first we'll check the default output of our MVC application. I'm running the application. And here we got the default output of our MVC application, which is the index view page, CS HTML page. Now what I'm doing, I'm deleting uh, in the views, I'm expanding the home folder index.cshtml. Let me delete this one. And now let's save this file. Now I'm reloading the full uh, browser. See now the index view page contains empty. Now my aim is I want to integrate the React.js class component in this index CSHTML page. First let's stop debugging. Open the solution explorer. In the scripts folder, I am adding one new folder called JS. All my class components or ReactJS components I will save in this folder only. So I am adding one JSX file. And this JSX file I am adding hello world. The world. The hello world.jsx file is created in this JS folder. Now we'll import React from React class. Now class I'm adding hello world extends React dot component. Now after that, I'm adding this function render. I want to render the return method. In this return method, I'm adding the div element. Let's close the div element. This div element is a root element of our component. Inside this root element, I'm adding h1. This is react js.net class component now I want to render this h1 in index.html so here we require react dot render method I am adding the hello world now the second parameter will take the the element id so document dot get element by id the id is let's give the uh, component c o m p the id name is now we need to configure the javascript engine in our project open app underscore start folder, notice the react config.cs file, open that one. In this react just react config.js file, let's import using JavaScript engine switcher.v8. Then let's delete this default uh, code. Now add JavaScript switcher switcher dot code dot js engine switcher dot current dot default engine name is equals to v8 js engine dot engine name 
after that javascript another one javascript code dot js engine switch dot current dot engine factories add v8 method so now switch to index.cshtml page now here i want to uh, display the center tag let's add the center inside the center i'm adding the do element inside this do element i want to render this class component hello world do id is equals to com now the most important we need to add the references of our react js component as well as the react uh, classes also so first we'll add the react classes react min.js file drag and drop the next thing we require the hello world.jsx now here we require the script copy this one at url dot content 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 let's close the script tab that's it now it's time to check the output of our application we have just integrated the hello world react component class component in index.view page let's run this application before that let's build a solution and run the application and here we got the output um, the component is not rendered here let's fix that one let's delete this input statement we don't require here save this file now we'll check the output i'm reloading the browser so here we got this is react.js.net class component and this component is from the hello world.jsx file i have integrated this component in index.mvc view page that's it thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel